Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today, I've got a fun little video lined up for you. We're gonna be reviewing the Greenworks 60 Volt Pro self-propelled three-in-one lawnmower. Hit that intro. The age-old question, guys, gas or electric? Finally, I think they came far enough in the technology that you can actually mow your yard with a battery-powered lawnmower. I know, it's freaking crazy. I went over every single battery-powered mower on the market and I settled on the DreamWorks 60 Volt Pro. We'll go over the reason why at the end of the video. We're gonna go over all the features, talk about the price point, and go over why it's a three-in-one. So you have your mulching feature, you have the bag mulch, then you have your side discharge. All right, let's go over all the features. One of my favorite features is the one handle height adjustment deck. So it goes down to one, which I believe is three quarters of an inch. And it goes two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to seven. Hard to do with one hand, forgive me. And you can see the height there. I wanna say it's three and three quarters of an inch height. Very easy, handle, very slick. Nice deep detents there, you can see. Tires are rubber, with plastic. Side discharge, so shut for mulching. Comes with a side scoop. Just lift this up and attaches on there. See if I can do it one handed. Nope, I cannot. Anyways, this just attaches on there. Then you have your side discharge feature. Battery goes in the top, slides right in the grooves. It is spring loaded. The battery's got a nice spring tension. Push it down to lock it in, pop it out. There's this little tab, hit that. It does have a safety key. You have to make sure that this key is in or it will not run. So, battery's in. Shut the lid. The deck, 21 inch steel deck. This front covering is plastic. It has a good little blade on it too, I checked it out. When it cuts the grass, it doesn't leave a bunch of those um, scraggly grasses everywhere. It actually cuts it nice and clean. The mulching feature, it bags almost all the grass, collects it very well. All, all right. right, this is the back part. Lift this up. If you want to bag mulch, you pull the plug out. Otherwise you have the plug right here. Pops right in. Can't do it one handed, forgive me. Plug just pops right in like that. Then to bag mulch, you just lift this up, put the bag on. Now to store it, it has two tabs on the side here. You just pull these pins out, as you can see right here. It has three height adjustments for when you're pushing it. So you have to pull both these pins out on each side, and then the whole handle comes forward and you can store it standing up on end. I'll show you that at the end. You want to put the mulching bag on, you just lift this tab up all the way as high as it goes and it has two hooks. Pops right in, put the flap down. It's not the biggest capacity or highest capacity bag, but it's good for, I want to say, let's see, how many swipes did I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did at least ten super long swipes and it filled maybe a quarter of the bag. So you can get a decent amount done, but not your whole yard. Pop this off. I usually like a side discharge. Show you how that goes on. Again, has these little tabs. Lift it up. Pops right on. Now it's ready for side discharge. Don't forget, though, when you bag mulch, you gotta take the plug out. 60 volt pro, side discharge. We went over the one handed height deck adjustment. Let's talk about the self propelled feature. Now, I like this feature because my new house here has several hills. The front is kinda at a hump, and the back is one little steep hill. What is nice about it is you can hold it, go, 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 adjust the speed as you're going, and you can just let go, 
and it has like a free gear system so you can just push it like a standard mower. I really like that. So you gotta get in those little tight nooks around the trees, just let go of the self-propelled, do it manually, pick it back up again, and it starts going. Also, when the battery dies, it has enough juice left in it that you can use the self-propelled to get you back to the garage or wherever you're, you're gonna park it for the night. Really like that feature. Now, to start it, I'll show you here in one sec. I didn't read the directions right away, so it kind of confused me. I thought, okay, you pull the bale, the bale back, hit the button, I'm like, why won't it start? But if you read it, you have to hold the button down, then pull the bale, then it starts, so it's reverse. So I kind of like that feature. All right, let's take it down, go over a few swipes of the yard, and I'll show you how it works. Let's go over the fold-up feature real quick. You just pull the tabs out. You gotta wiggle it a little bit. Slide it forward like this. Now you can store it upright like this. It has these kickstands, and that's how it says you can store it in the garage, like so. Very easy to move around. Check out the blade, underside. I have done a couple cuts. The blade is actually very, very sharp. So there you go, there's the underside. Pop. Latches back in, and you're good to mow. Overall weight of this mower, I think it's in the 60 to 70 pound range. Now, if you're using the higher capacity battery, the four or the five, the battery itself is five pounds. It's like 4.8, I believe it is. The 2.0 two, the, the battery is a little over two pounds. Starting sequence, push the button down, pull the bale back. Pretty quiet. You can engage the self propel anytime. So you got fast, that's slow, and then fast. We'll go over that feature too. I'll show you how well it works uphill. Here's the front of my house here. You can see it. It's got a little bit of a hill. Show you how well the self propelled feature works. We got it on bagless mulching. We're going to go up the hill. One-handed, goes up the hill by itself, no problem. Now did you hear the motor just go down? When it hits the longer grass, the motor will ramp up. Now you can see how well it cut right there. We'll do a couple more swipes. I want you guys to be able to hear the engine rev up and down. I think it cuts pretty gosh darn good. The self-propelled feature goes up the hill. You can do it one with one finger, no problem. You can see how long the grass is right here. If 
Forgive me guys about the lack of videos. I know it's been a hot minute, but we just closed and we've been moving in our new house. We sold our townhouse last fall and we've been renting that place where I've actually shot probably my last 50 videos at maybe. Now we finally got our own house. We set up the new workshop, the new garage, getting everything the way I want it. So with lots of videos coming up guys, we got almost the whole Greenworks line coming up, the 60 volt line. And uh, I just need time to do it. I'm so backlogged videos, it's not even funny. So thank you, finally broke 3,000 subscribers. I'm up to like 3120, I think, right now as this video. Runtime on the mower. So with the 5.0, now when I first bought this house, the grass was eight to 10 inches long. I'll put a little picture right here. So eight to 10 inch long grass, running at high idle, using the power assist or the self-propelled probably 90% of the time. I got about 42 to 47 minutes run time. The box claims 55 minutes or half acre. Now my lot is about 10 to 12,000 square feet, so the average lot, it's nothing huge. With the 2.0 battery, I got around 25 minutes of run time, and that was with the shorter grass on setting number five. And I didn't use the self propel as much on that one. So, Pretty good, I think. I can do my whole yard now and use two bars of the 5.0 battery now that the grass is down to a manageable level. Highly recommend this mower, guys. It's the best mower I've ever used in my life. And I've used a lot of freaking mowers. You now, people always compare, oh no, gas is so hard, you gotta put gas in, you gotta change the oil. Seriously, my gas mower, I've had maybe 10 years and I've changed the oil zero. <laughs> so, it's not hard guys, all you gotta do is drain it in the fall, keep the carburetor clean. But anyways, we're not talking about gas. Electric is the way to go, it's the future. Greenworks 60 volt pro lawnmower, two consumer thumbs up. No, they're not paying me, I bought this with my own money. My wife said when we buy the house, you can get a new lawnmower. Got this at Lowe's for $3.99 with the five amp hour battery and charger. Three in one, you know, bag mulch side, blah, 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 side discharge, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah guys, I like it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. We'd be more than happy to get back to you guys. Everyone, thanks for your time. You guys have a blessed day. See ya!